everyone and welcome to Reading with Mrs. Adams. I'm Mrs. Adams and today I have three stories and three poems all about weather, specifically rain and rainbows. I'd like to start with a little finger play. It's fun and it's simple and I know you'll enjoy it. Let's get started. It's called Rain. Rain on the rooftops, rain on the tree, rain on my umbrella, but not on me. Our first story today, boys and girls, is called Wet World. This is by Norma Simon and illustrated by Alexi Nacheff. It's about a little girl and what she does on a rainy day. I hope you enjoy Wet World. Wet World by Norma Simon, illustrated by Alexi Nacheff. For Stephanie, N.S. For my parents, A.N. Wet World by Norma Simon, illustrated by Alexi Nacheff. Candlewick Press, Cambridge, Massachusetts. A wet world waited when I woke up this morning. Wet windows, wet trees, wet leaves, wet grass. Wet street, wet rooftops, wet world. A warm breakfast waited when I went down the stairs. Warm toast, warm cereal, warm cocoa, warm tummy. A stiff raincoat slipped on my stiff arms. Shiny high boots over my shiny shoes. Hat, coat, boots, out to the wet world. I walked on the wet world. Wet ground pulls my boots. Wet sidewalk splashes my boots. Wet rain sprinkles my hat. Wet rain drips down my coat. Wet cars swish down my road. Windshield wipers wipe the wet. Whish, 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 whish away the wet. Wet puddles cover wet boots. Dry feet in wet boots. Dry arms in wet coat. Dry head in wet hat. Dry me, wet world. A warm world waited when I went home. Warm mother, warm father, warm stove. A wet world waited outside my window. A warm bed waited inside my room. A warm kiss kissed me, and now I'm in bed. I wonder what world will wait in the morning. Good night, wet world. And that is the end of Wet World by Nora Simon, illustrated by Alexi Nacheff. Our next poem is called Rain, and it's one I wrote. I hope you enjoy it. Rain by Robin Adams. Rain, 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 all morning long. Tapping on my window, it makes a happy song. In puddles on the sidewalk, drippity, drippity drop. Dancing on the rooftops, plippity, plippity, plop. The next book I'm reading to you today, boys and girls, is called Weather. This is a first discovery book, and it's all about the seasons and the different types of weather each season brings. Now, this is informational text, so it has fun facts about weather and the seasons. 
and I hope you enjoy it. Weather, a first discovery book. Weather, created by Gallimard Jeunesse and Pascal de Bourgogne. Illustrated by Sophie Nifke. A first discovery book, Scholastic Incorporated. It is spring, the air is warm. The trees and grass are bright green. Flowers are blooming everywhere. Suddenly there is a shower, but the rain is soon over, almost as quickly as it started. Spring is the season of mild, showery weather. After a shower, you can sometimes see a rainbow, an arc of beautiful colors. You have to look fast. A rainbow forms when sunlight passes through millions of raindrops in the sky but rainbows never last long. In summer, the sun shines hot and bright. Sometimes dark storm clouds gather. It is fun to play at the shore on a hot and sunny summer day. It isn't safe to stay on the beach when you hear thunder or see lightning. Even if a thunderstorm stops your play, the sun will soon be out again. At the beach, cool winds blow the clouds away. You can fly a kite in the wind. Unless it blows too hard. After summer comes, damp, cool autumn leaves change color, fall, and blow away. The sky is often cloudy and gray. It rains and rains. There are puddles to walk in. Sometimes in the morning, fog creeps into town. Fog is a cloud that forms near the ground. Usually the fog is gone by noon and the air is crisp and cold again. Autumn turns into winter, the coldest season of the year. Days are short, nights are long. After a snowstorm, the countryside is covered in a white blanket. You can build a snowman. Put on your boots, your mittens, and your snowsuit. The bright white blanket of snow is fun to play in. It is made up of millions and millions of tiny ice crystals. Each tiny snowflake has six points or sides, and no two snowflakes are ever exactly alike. When snow covers the roads, no cars or trucks or buses can pass. The snow plows are busy, clearing the snow off the highways. Sometimes the winter air is so cold that frost dusts the ground and ponds freeze over. Your breath makes a frosty white cloud in the air. But indoors, it is warm and cozy. If it's too cold to go out and play, you can stay in and think about spring. Spring will be here before you know it. And that is the end of weather. A first discovery book. Our third and final poem today, boys and girls, is called Rainbows by Joe Ellen Moore. Rainbows. 
When rain falls down and the sun shines behind, you can see a rainbow. It's easy to find. Sunlight breaks apart on the raindrops passing by. Bright colors bend and an arc fills the sky by Joe Ellen Moore. Our third and final story today, boys and girls, is called The Napping House. It's written by Audrey Wood and illustrated by Don Wood. It's a whimsical story that takes place on a very rainy day and everyone decides to take a nap. I hope you enjoy The Napping House. The Napping House by Audrey Wood, illustrated by Don Wood. The Napping House by Audrey Wood, illustrated by Don Wood. Harcourt Brace Jovanovich, Publishers. For Marguerite Thompson Brewer. There is a house, a napping house, where everyone is sleeping. And in that house, there is a bed, a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that bed, there is a granny, a snoring granny on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that granny, there is a child, a dreaming child on a snoring granny on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that child there is a dog, a dozing dog on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that dog there is a cat, a snoozing cat on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that cat, there is a mouse, a slumbering mouse on a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that mouse, there is a flea. Can it be a wakeful flea on a slumbering mouse, on a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. A wakeful flea who bites the mouse, who scares the cat, who claws the dog, thumps the child, who bumps the granny, who breaks the bed. In the napping house where no one now is sleeping. And that is the end of the Napping House by Audrey Wood, illustrated by Don Wood. I love reading to you boys and girls and I hope you enjoyed today's stories about weather, rain and rainbows. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, you can do so. Just tap the word subscribe right there and that way you'll get all the latest videos with stories and poems from Reading with Mrs. Adams. One truth I want you always to remember, boys and girls, is that God loves you so much. So dare to dream the impossible because all things are possible with God. I love you. Until next time, boys and girls. Goodbye.